katika wakati chini kwanza ndio ni discuss na mzazi but at least anielewe mbona si ndi shule life is simple if you believe in it life is all about finding yourself life will love you if you love it back life is what you make it to be There are hundreds of quotes when it comes to life and the truth is they are all easier said than done. Her name is Cynthia. At the age of 17, she should be concentrating on her education, interacting with her peers and paying attention to her puberty as she grows. Unfortunately, that isn't the case. It's been 3 months since she joined this unique facility that now hosts over 40 girls aged between 15 and 18 years. Kamai Bostel Girls, the first of its kind not only in Kenya but East Africa as a whole. Many would call it a prison where young female offenders serve time according to the punishment rewarded to them in court. But what it is is a type of youth detention center intended to reform seriously delinquent young people. <laughs> Justina Mwangombe, superintendent in charge of the Kamai Bostel Girls, quite jubilant as you can see as she spoke about the institution bringing us to comprehension on what it really is this institution is a, the third uh, of the three bostol institutions that we have we uh, we commit them to training even as their bostol order says because they come here for three years training for three years equivalent to 36 months equivalent to about 1080 days Cynthia shall call this place home calm but at the same time strong are the best words to describe this young lady who is practically behind bars and this is why niliwa nimeenda kwa tu ya child need of care and protection nje kukata shule nikiwa huko na kuza drugs then kapele kwa huko sasa kufika huko nikapata life ni hard Emotions took over as she continued narrating how being with the wrong crew at the wrong place and at the wrong time not only got her convicted but almost cost her life too. Nilikuwa mama mwingine hapo sasa. Msichana mmoja alikuwa rafiki yangu classmate mwingine kwa tunasoma na yeye. Sasa yeye ndo alikuwa auntie yake ndo alikuwa anatupa hizo drugs na yeye tunamuzia tunapata pesa. Jo alikuwa ananilipa 1000 kwa wiki. Nilesu akupewa tu vitu mnaenda mnauza mjini nini kwa ndani. Suka zitu ilikuwa. Suka zitu ilikuwa tu kudeliver na kurudi, kudeliver na kurudi. Hiyo ndio ilikuwa tu job. Hiyo ndio ilikuwa tu job. So ndio, so ndio ikakanga chini of late, nikakuja kurealize ilikuwa ni drugs. And the question that is now left lingering in her head. Jo, kila siku na mbwa watakuja watakuja sio na mtaki kuja. So na feel like Regardless, it's astounding that her stay in this hostel has created a family for her, with the other girls automatically becoming her sisters, the wardens who have become mentors and mothers, overwhelming her with love and sense of belonging. Vitu zenye naweza fanya mimi mwenyewe sasa at least ile ya kutafuta pesa. Kuna zile vitu zenye mimi mwenyewe naweza kufanya apart from masomo. And then ni kwa hata hivyo bado nilikuwa nimepanga hata nikitoka huko nataka sitaendelea na shule. At least nilikuwa na hii talent ya kushuna beats, tengeza kiu, tengeza zima ki holder, subject holder. So at least nikienda home, niko na hiyo talent inaweza nisaidia hata sitaendelea na shule. Life is what you make of it. At least that's what everyone says. And in Cynthia's case, she has decided to turn on a new leaf, forgive herself, forgive all that wronged her, as she prepares to eventually get out of here, to be a testimony to others younger than her, and most of all, be a law-abiding citizen. Toka hapa, already ni japandiwa. Ju, I heard that si lazima ni malize izo trias. Ni zatoka even one and a half amani ni zatoka. 
alafu vinyi ndambo hivyo at least hiyo for that one nienda kwa huku at least nitakuwa nipanga ficha yangu her past has forced her to learn a lesson her future will now give her a chance to apply what she has learned nina shaban for ever tv